Hawaii is the only state with an indoor mask mandate, and some believe it's time for the islands to follow the rest of the country. KTV4's Eddie Dowd shows us how hundreds came out across the state today to pressure state leaders to make changes. Well, we are seeing some COVID-19 restrictions starting to lift here in Hawaii, one of them being the Safe Access Oahu Vaccination Passport Program. That's set to expire on March 6, but the statewide indoor mask mandate is still in place with no set end date. Today, people drove around the island to send a message to government officials that they want to see these gone. Because we want our freedom back. More than 100 cars gathered outside the Navy Exchange on Oahu Saturday for a caravan around the island calling for the end to all COVID-19 restrictions in Hawaii. Cheryl Beeler has helped organize more than 50 of these rallies and convoys throughout the pandemic and says there seems to be a newfound energy in the air. I see a lot of new faces here today, faces that I hadn't seen in different events. For some, vaccination requirements remain a focal point. Others continue to express doubts about the realness or severity of the virus. But one topic that seemed to be at the forefront of everyone's minds were mask requirements. We have the last mask uh, mandate that we have is on our state. And Ige's talking about, you know, he doesn't want to let it go. Governor David Ige says he is working with the Department of Health to figure out when exactly is the best time to lift that indoor mask mandate. But in a statement last week, he stressed the importance of masks and other measures that he says uh, have helped Hawaii be the second lowest state in the nation when it comes to COVID-19 deaths. Reporting in Honolulu, Eddie Dowd, KITV4 Island News.